Now to the story about the man charged with accidentally discharging his gun after an eight year old boy in Boise County was struck by a stray bullet while in his own bed. He's now expected to be in court later this month. That boy is back home meantime recovering, but it got us thinking about gun safety. Our Shira Matsuzawa spoke with the Boise County Sheriff's Office about what you should know if you have a firearm. Shira? Mark, that entire ordeal happened last Friday night. The boy's dad tells me the bullet went through their neighbor's window, then through their wall, and then a pillow before it hit eight-year-old LJ in his hand face and then his neck. Now take a look. This is what it looked like while LJ was in the hospital. As you mentioned, he is back home and recovering. The prosecutor charged 41 year old Brandon L. Nelson with injuring another by careless handling and discharge of firearms. So we wanted to find out just how common are accidental discharges like this. I spoke with Corporal David Gomez with the Boise County Sheriff's Office. Take a listen. How, often, how frequent are they? I think every Every year we have a couple of accidental discharges um, and every year we have a couple of people that are hit by accidental discharges. So you want to put as many safety mechanisms as you can. Number one, always pretend like it's loaded. Number two, keep it pointed in a safe direction always. Number three, keep it secured so that you know who's controlling that gun. He adds, just like driving, it's not good to be under the influence when operating a car, and it's not good to be under the influence and in handling a gun as well because it greatly affects your decision making. Now, in this particular case, the parents tell me Nelson was drunk when this happened. Nelson is neighbors with LJ's dad. However, investigators have not yet released if the 41 year old was under the influence at the time. Corporal Gomez also tells me when handling firearms, it's always a life or death situation, and you're not only affecting your life, but other people's as well, as was in this situation. Meantime, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives, or ATF, tells me they are aware of what happened in Garden Valley. They wouldn't tell me much more, though. Nelson is scheduled to be back in court or in court on October 19th. Mark. So sad and infuriating at the same time. LJ's dad told you that LJ was so traumatized by this, as you would imagine a young boy would be, that he can't go back to sleep in his bed and they're talking about moving. Right, you know, this kind of thing definitely has a lasting effect on a kid or anyone for that matter. Sure. So we'll just have to see what happens. All right, Shira, thanks.